If you find you're close to the pitch, try sliding up or down until you match it. Uh... I'm Camille, singer and voice teacher with 30 Day Singer, and this is How to Sing Part 1, Matching Pitch. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. It'll really help us out. Matching pitch is when we can hear a reference pitch and accurately recreate it, like this. Uh... When two voices or instruments are producing the same pitch simultaneously, we say they're in unison with one another. If I'm not accurately matching pitch, it might sound like this. Uh... I'm out of tune with the piano. More specifically, if I'm lower than the intended pitch, I'm flat. Uh, or uh. And if I'm higher than intended, I'm sharp. Uh, uh. Which sounds worse to you, flat or sharp? Tell me in the comments. Matching pitch is the first step in learning to sing because we learn singing by rote or by listening and repeating what we hear. While most people can match pitch, some struggle more than others. And especially if you don't have much musical experience, you might not know whether you're matching pitch accurately. That's where a chromatic tuner comes in handy. You can download any chromatic tuner app, ideally one for singers like Nail the Pitch or Vocal Pitch Monitor, or you can use a web-based tuner like tuner.ninja. Give it access to your device's microphone and just start making some noise. A chromatic tuner analyzes your pitch and shows you both the pitch letter name and the octave number of the pitch you're singing. For example, this is an A3. Uh, this is an A4. Uh. If the musical alphabet is new to you, here's all you need to know. The musical alphabet goes from A to G and then starts over at A. On the keyboard, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Your tuner might use sharps, flats, or both, and those are legitimate pitches. For example, this is C sharp four, also sometimes called D flat four. I know that's a little confusing since we also use those terms sharp and flat to describe out of tune singing or playing. But here's the thing, I can sing a C sharp da, in tune, Da, or I can be sharp, uh, or I can be flat. Uh. Begin training your ability to match pitch by getting a reference pitch from a piano app or a site like virtualpiano.net, and then attempt to sing that same pitch. The chromatic tuner will show you how close you are to that pitch. Keep in mind, you're going to get a more accurate read by using headphones so the tuner doesn't analyze the piano's pitch too. If you find you're close to the pitch, try sliding up or down until you match it. For example, let's say this is my reference pitch, and I try to sing it, uh, I should see on my tuner that I'm too low and I'm gonna try sliding up till I match it. Uh, then see if you can re-articulate that pitch without sliding or scooping. So once you've found it, uh, re-articulate. Uh, it's also helpful to take your time, listen to the pitch first. Sing it in your head. You can even hum it first. Finally, sing aloud and see how close you are. If 
if you've chosen a pitch that's uncomfortably high or low, or even outside your singable range, try again somewhere else on the keyboard. So for example, if I chose C3 as a reference pitch for myself, I wouldn't be able to hit it. I would struggle. No, no thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna try a different pitch higher. Uh, if this is a new skill for you and you find it challenging, spend five to 10 minutes every day working on your pitch matching and consider downloading an ear training app to help track your progress. Once you're comfortable matching pitch, the next step towards singing is to speak on pitch. What would you like to see more of? Let us know in the comments. Visit 30daysinger.com for easy step-by-step -step singing lessons.